Lithium is a metal that can be found on the periodic table and it was first used to treat mania in around 1974. And for several years, it was one of the only medications available to treat manic disorders in cases of bipolar. Lithium has also been shown to help treat people with depression who are already on other antidepressant medications. And lithium can also be helpful for aggressiveness or anger in people who have may have like mood or some subtle personality disorders. Most lithium in the United States is obtained from dry lake mining in Chile and Argentina. And I heard in a lecture as a medical student that lithium is found naturally in water, but the areas which have higher lithium in the water are less likely to have people suffer from bipolar disorder conditions. It, what makes lithium a double-edged sword? So on one hand, lithium is one of the few medications available that have been shown to decrease suicidal thoughts. So people who are having suicidal thoughts from a bipolar disorder, a mood disorder, or even depression, lithium can help treat that. So that part of it is good. but. The harmful effect of lithium is that it's one of the few medications which if people overdose on or people in other words if people take much more than they're prescribed they can die from it so not all medications can be lethal but lithium is one of the most lethal and toxic medications that somebody can put in their body if someone is prescribed lithium typically about at least five days after starting to take the medication you can check the lithium level and so if the lithium level gets too high, it can cause some side effects. So if it gets to between 1.5 to 2, you may get side effects such as nausea or vomiting, maybe dizzy or, or feeling unsteady when walking or on your feet. When it gets higher, like to 2 or 2.5, then the upset stomach can worsen. There can also be neurological symptoms such as problems with the vision, uh, changes in one's movements, uh, confusion. When levels are above 2.5, it gets even more serious. It can cause seizures, cause kidney failure, and that's when death can occur. Uh, I've seen multiple times where people have overdosed on lithium. It became a medical emergency. They had to get admitted to the hospital and they needed emergent dialysis, meaning they needed dialysis, which is sort of this treatment that is given for people who are on kidney failure some basic blood work needs to be done before taking lithium it can affect the thyroid it can affect the kidneys can even affect the heart and these side effects can happen any time while taking lithium and in fact it can make kidney problems happen earlier even if people are taking the medication over several years they can start to develop shakes or tremors which i see most commonly in their hands or their arms lithium is typically excreted from the body through the kidneys and through the urine so it's really important to have good kidney function when taking this medication some medications like motrin which can be taken over the counter sometimes blood pressure medications they can affect the kidneys and so they can affect lithium levels also if someone is gets very dehydrated or sweats a lot that can also affect lithium levels so you got to be careful in those cases because lithium can get more toxic or higher concentration in some of those instances. So really when taking lithium, it's a delicate balance. But in particular, it's a double-edged sword because on one hand, it can decrease suicidal thoughts, but on the other hand, people can die if they overdose on lithium. So speaking of two-edged sword, I would like to refer to what St. Paul says in his letter to the Hebrews when he says that the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So lithium can be helpful or harmful depending how people use it and if they take it as directed. I think God's teaching and guidance is helpful for those who follow it correctly. But for those that abuse his teachings or perhaps they do not understand how to apply it or maybe they ignore or disregard it altogether, it's just going to make life much more confusing, much more worrisome, and much more vain in life.